That's right. All right. Our next two guests are the definition of survivors. They have survived the wilderness. They've survived cancer. They have even survived reality television. Yes. <laughs> Not an easy thing to do. Seriously, we have in our studio the gorgeous, very, very gorgeous couple, Ethan Zahn and Jenna Maraska. So you're going to be on the new season of Amazing Race. Yes. yes. Oh, this is going to be exciting. What exciting. made you decide to sign on for that after what you went through already? Are you just like, you just know. love the thrill? I, maybe we needed more stamps in our passport. <laughs> I'm not so sure what motivated the decision. Yeah, you fell in love on, uh, what was it? Which season was that? Well, we, of, uh, we, we met Survivor. at the finale of Jenna's Survivor, yeah. which was Survivor. Oh, okay. He actually gave me a beer that was half empty. And I was like, who uh, is And then it was this love, it was love at first half empty beer. <laughs> half full. He half, says it's half, half full. full. I yeah. say it was pretty empty. <laughs> mm, so, what was it the experience that you went through on the shows that you? think sparked the love interest or was it just initial attraction? Yeah, well, I think Ethan wouldn't stop calling. <laughs> <laughs> so he wore me down. I finally went out with him so he <laughs> just quit it. Leave me and I alone. took one look at her I'm like, wow, two million is well, way better than one million. You know, yeah. that joke gets old. It's yeah. <laughs> it so right such sense. a romantic. I love that. Don't I love you that. think uh, something like The Amazing Race is going to be a bit of a test to a relationship? I mean, they see you at your yeah. best and at your worst they on that do. show. It gets tough. And my worst fear in life is being like hungry, tired, late, lost in a foreign country where you can't speak your language. And he's a terrible driver. I, so I, think, I'll do, I think I'll do amazing <laughs> race. Yeah, Those are my worst fears. Thank God for waterproof and sweatproof makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Yeah, exactly. I think it would be, normally it would be a test, but we you know, have been through so much together anyway. So I don't think that we could have been possibly been tested more than we have already been just by life in general. But, right. you know, there are always something that yeah. you can be tested on. If people don't on. know what you're talking about, though, um, Ethan, you battled with Hodgkin's lymphoma, correct? Exactly. Won yeah. your battle? Is that right? It was, yeah, a, a long battle. Year. A Congratulations. Year battle. Yeah, so I had chemotherapy, stem cell transplant, radiation, the whole bit. Yeah. But for the amazing race, like compared to where we were last year, and this was almost like a celebration of life. You know, yeah. I was locked up in a you know hospital room attached to a pump, and now I'm like. In an airplane, traveling around the world, competing on the Amazing Race. So with me, uh, with you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I tried to good. remind him that when he was screaming his way through the world, yelling at taxi cab drivers. <laughs> Do you know where this is? <laughs> Life is I'm good a little right bit now. competitive. Uh, but Jenna, your mother uh, passed away from cancer. Yes. Now you're both hosting this show called Everyday Health. Mm -hmm. So yes. pulling in your experiences from what you both, you know, went through, is that helping you to host? Is that helping you to go through some help other people get through their experiences as well? Yeah. yeah. Or is it tough to do that? I think the people that we're meeting you know on our little road trip for everyday help we're meeting you know extraordinary ordinary people people who have come up against a tragedy or seen someone they love come up against a tragedy in life or doing something good about it but what's great is that we both can relate to someone you know Ethan can actually relate to the patient and I can relate and really love to talk to the caretaker right. you know I like to be sometimes the unsung heroes and get to hear their side of the story and between the both of us we've been through almost everything so we can find a way to relate to everybody involved in the story because sometimes the people we're featuring aren't exactly affected by the illnesses themselves they just maybe saw a loved one or have a loved one that experienced it that motivated them to do something right. and and you're using your celebrity and your money in a really inspiring way you have a foundation right yes uh, I have an organization called grassroots soccer we use the power of soccer in the fight against HIV and AIDS and actually first lady Michelle Obama visited our program in oh, South yeah. Africa I heard you talking about her organization mm -hmm. yeah. right but yeah you know it's um, great we use professional soccer players to teach kids about important lessons in life and it's kind of you know everyday health and all our charity work it's you know this show is we have the best job in the world because literally we get to travel around the country and meet these incredible people and we help them realize their dreams to help other people and we just, you know, come in there, swoop in, have a good time, and uh, it's, it's really just a blessing to, to be yeah, able to do that. Yeah, this is the good right. side. This it's is like the, the good side forward. of what you can do with it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. reality TV gets a bad rap, but this is really the good side yes. of what you can do with that celebrity. Turning it into something it's positive. It's great to see it. It's an yeah. inspiring story. And by the way, it's Cancer Awareness, but this month marks National Leukemia and Lymphoma it's Month, too. So, yep. good yep. time to have you here on the show. Yeah. Good luck on the amazing race. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, if you want to join in on Ethan and Jenna's adventures, you can be sure to watch Everyday Health. Catch them on that show and also the premiere of Amazing Race this Sunday.